Hey y'all, how are you doing? And it's Sun Crafter here today, and we are going to be making kind of like stuff like moon sand. So, this is what we'll be making. I haven't put color in it yet, but the video we'll be making today will have color in it. So all you really need is all-purpose flour and baby oil. And a bowl and stuff to mix with. So, all we're going to do add a little bit of flour. Add some flour. If you know how much you put, then you can guesstimate every time you make it. But I was just trying a little aisle treasure. And this is pretty much how I made my moon sand. It's kind of my feel like play a little bit, but it's more like moon sand. So, all you gonna need is your all-purpose flour. Open it up. Dump some in your bowl. Try not to make a mess like I just did. Well, any type of flour really works. I've been using all-purpose flour. Like I was saying, you can use any type of flour. But what you want to do is mix it up really good where there's not really many clumps in your flour. Just mix it up. You can add as much as you want. Then... If you don't feel like putting your hand in it when you put the baby oil in, you don't have to, but I do because I feel like it mixes up the best. So what you're going to do is get your baby oil. You're just going to dump a little bit at a time. At first I did start mixing it with my spatula, but then if you look at it, it, don't, it kind of gets stuck to it. So, we're going to mix it with our hands. You know, mix it real good. I just add a little baby oil at a time. Just add a little bit at a time. Because where it's falling apart, it's not good and firm and sticky together. So all you do is keep adding your baby oil a little bit at a time. So like this pile right here, most of it had got the baby oil. There's some spots in here that still has baby oil, but this one has got really good. And you just kind of keep packing it together in your hand. So, it kind of looks like moon sand. Well, yeah, I cut it to it, it look more like moon sand, I promise. What you're going to do is get you a bowl, put your stuff in it. And all you do is going to get a food coloring you like. You can add sense to if you feel like it. And all I'm going to do is. Oh, make a hole in it with my thumb and squeeze some drops in it. Now I'm just going to mix it together. Pretty sure I just picked a bad color to mix with, but it's okay. And yeah, a little bit more color. And 
makes it good and well. I recommend if you're going to use blue. Sometimes blue will stay and sometimes it won't. But it looks like this blue might stay in my fingers. But see, I guess I didn't have enough blue color. So I might add another cup to it. Let's see what color. Let me get some more blue out. So my hands are going to like, be staying a little bit blue. I'm trying to mix it best I could without touching it, but that might not be possible. If you want to, you can always mix your color first in with your flower. And I am using a towel to do this on so I don't make a mess on my little craft table. And all you do is gotta mix it best you can and voila, there's my blue wood sand. Kind of teal looking too. And all you do is let your kid play with it and crush it. I really don't have any toys to like show you how it works and stuff but there's how you make wind sand and you make a mess I recommend using a actual table to do some a little craft table unless your craft table is pretty big doesn't work the best for me I have a little tiny craft table so this is some moon sand it is blue some of it. So, if you want to keep making more, you can. I'm just going to make some more blue. I'll mix this in here with it. If you want to, you can always add oils that make that smells good. Add to it. But it's a fun, easy craft for your kids to do over the summer. If you they keep saying, oh, mom, I'm bored. Just have them do this. <coughs> Sorry. So I'm just going to keep making some more moon sand in here. Until I use all the flour up in this bowl. Oh 
almost got there. I need to add just a little more, more baby oil. Some baby oil. Pack it all good together. Gotta get all in there and smush it together. That's how you make moose sand. Right there's some more moose sand. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I got a messy cleanup, so I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!